Hello, welcome to Organic Structure 48. In this one, we're going to see the same sequence as Tango Awareness. And I'm going to give you some final explanations with respect to rotations. So, what we did in the um, Tango Awareness is my sacada. Yeah? Again, if this step goes outside of you, it's better because you have a lot of time to do sacadas, back sacadas or any sacadas. It can be an open step. It can be a front cross. See, it's to the outside. Okay, then the next step, see? Uh, let me show you a, another sequence other than the tango awareness, which is, this is the sacada. Let's flip directions. So we have this step. And you put your foot there, and this is your sweep. Right? Let's flip directions again. So it is an open step, and a, uh, I'm sorry, it's an open step and her gancho. And let's flip directions again. So it is another open step and my gancho. Yeah? And here we go again. This is one step. This is my back sacada. This step is a little bit to the outside. There you go, because we are doing sacadas. So, uh, after the sacada, yeah, we have a next step. It would be nice, a little bit to the outside. So there we have a simple sweep. Yeah? After this one, it's another step. And here you put yourself so she can take a gancho. And here, now that we are talking about rotation, if you look at my feet, see, do the gancho. If you look at my feet, it's already located for a very, very deep rotation. So after this gancho, see, I want you to rotate a lot, so much that you have your gancho. Yeah? Uh, <clears throat> so here I just show you, you know, two th sequences. There are hundreds of them, so I want you to explore all of them. <clears throat> Let's talk about a little bit what I just did with this rotation, which is <clears throat> all these takes uh, that you're doing, for example, uh, when you put your feet, so she takes her gancho, See, you are already very deep within her, right? So after this gancho, you can do many, many things. But one of the things that I want you to start with is to rotate them a lot after you come after the gancho. Let me lead you. Yeah, that's right, because that's where you have to go. And that's my gancho, yeah? So, one more time. So this is uh, the step I take. This is your gancho. This is the over rotation. And when you rotate so, so much, yeah, and don't, hold, don't do that, see? It's not a guessing game. So feel where we are falling, and that's where you have to go. That's right. Boom. And that's my gancho. Yeah? Uh, <clears throat> this, by the way, done at, at this speed, is very, very difficult because it's not real, <clears throat> it's not real dancing, you know, it's out of context. So, <clears throat> for followers, it's very hard to, to see, you know, uh, it's very hard to differentiate when you have to be active and accommodating to me, <clears throat> right? And when you have to let go yourself fall, you know, into the fall. So it's a normal, let's say, discussion and that I'm trying to, 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 <clears throat> to show to you. So it's okay in this arena and at this speed to make all these mistakes that you know that you stay a little extra and then you want to, and then you want to put your leg out by yourself, right? And there are both good things. So it's a very, very fine line to, 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 to understand each other. And in this speed, all these confusions, they get bigger. So it's fine what, what's, uh, what's going on. Anyway, let me see, and don't change legs like that. You were on the other one. There you go. So you take a step, <clears throat> right? What about this gancho? Right? 
This is a perfect way, for example, to do a gancho. That's right. And if you charge, you get all this rotation going on. That's right. Then you can take an open, you can take anything you want. See? Mm -hmm. But this is a good rotation. So let me show you to the other side. <clears throat> this is her gancho. Right? What about if after her gancho, yeah, you rotate, you charge your weight and you rotate all this much. Yeah, she passes through and maybe here we have a sweep. Uh, <clears throat> the last rule of engagement I'm going to give you is that when rotation happens, in any rotation, in any deep rotation, and I'm going to explain it to you on this one, uh, when you are on this, her foot, let's say, has two sizes, the external and the internal. Uh, when you take any of these positions, and when you rotate a lot, the foot, my foot, will show up on the other side of her foot. So, for example, right now I'm being an external, she takes the gancho, and then we rotate a lot, and if you see what happens, is my foot shows up on her internal side. You get it? So, <clears throat> so here again, you can have another gancho, you can have a sweep, you can have a million things. But the rule is, <clears throat> rotation creates the, you know, if you step here, let me, let me show you, if you step here, and for example, and you rotate a lot, the feet show up on the other side. Right? This is a certain amount of rotation. Uh, it shows up on the other side, for example, if you will want to do a sweep right now, right? But if you over rotate, legs start to crumble, uh, to mount into each other. So if I leave it there and I rotate even more, this is what starts to happen. You get it? So, <clears throat> uh, so it's an interesting thing, it's an interesting concept that when you rotate more, and when you rotate a lot, even, the, even that it's an advanced subject, it makes ganchos being a lot easier. <clears throat> uh, because rotation and over rotations produce ganchos by itself, and sweeps by itself, uh, etc., etc. So you don't, have, you don't have to be so active in looking you know, for all these uh, perfect positions and things like that, but the perfect positions accommodate themselves with respect to the positions you take. Uh, so you don't have to live with your arms as much, actually. The rotation itself collocate the feet, etc., etc., etc. So this is a great concept. Uh, use it a lot. I recommend to you, especially these uh, rotation lessons. <clears throat> these are the real keys of really, really advanced dancing when it uh, starts to have a lot of rotation and we, when we start to do uh, simultaneous things that uh, I'm probably going to explain in some uh, later videos uh, what I really mean by uh, simultaneous stuff. Uh, but yeah, this is where really, really advanced dancing starts, uh, having all these uh, rotation things as a reflex, you know, that you don't even have to think but you go with your feet and with your partner and you just flip and rotate. So being that said, it's been a pleasure. Keep it happy, cool. See you on the next video.